How's it going guys? Today we're going to be doing this challenge called Forbidden Paths. Forbidden Paths is a very interesting challenge and it might get you... You know, it's beneficial, it's good for CTFs, it's good in actual uh, assessments. So, and assessments, I don't mean homework, I mean actual engagements to companies and websites. Uh, so, what's the description? Can you get the flag? And then they give you this website, which we're going to click on it, Mingwell. And it says, we know that the website files live in user share and Nginx HTML. And the flag is at forward slash flag.txt. But the website is filtering absolute paths. Can you get past the filter to read the flag? All right, so um, there is this thing that we call absolute paths and relative paths. For example, this is an absolute path, right? Because you're giving the whole the whole path to, to certain file. However, if, let's just make an example, let me go to CD temp and this is the mean, for example, PWD, this is my absolute path. Well, actually, let me just go a little bit further. All right. I made a directory and I'm just going to pico and pwd. This is my current working directory, which is forward slash 10 forward slash pico, right? Now, here, let's mind I do echo something and then do not test, right? And let's mind I do ls test. Well, I do. Let's just show test, okay? So test should be under this absolute path. So it should be something like this test.txt. However, if I don't want to specify the absolute path and I just want to specify the, the, the actual relative path, then it's just like this because we're already in this folder, right? So this is the relative. We don't include everything else because we're already in the place that this file is. But anyways, we're going to need that. And if you feel curious about relative and absolute paths, just have a browse online. It's pretty simple, straightforward. So let's go back to this part. And they give this website and it says web e-reader. And then they give you some examples, for example, the divine comedy. And then you, you press on read and it reads that, right? Go back. And now, well, they say like flag.txt. But that's the absolute path because this is the root directory yeah the the very first one so if i try that one it says not authorized i'm pretty sure you could potentially try to encode this and see if you can get some somewhere around there's no need so we know that so far we are in this directory html nginx user share sorry share and user so we need to go back, let's just say four directories, right? And what we can do if, I don't know if you guys know this, but let me just then pick up. I can go back by doing this on the terminal. And that will bring me back to forward slash temp instead of pico anymore, right? So as you can see, I went one directory back. Now, let me go back to pico and I can do cd. And it sends me back to the root, right? Because this is just saying go back go back, go back. So we're going to apply the same thing and we're going to end up with flag.txt. Yeah, something like this. So let's try that and see if it works, which, spoiler alert, it does. So if we do this, I'm just going to copy it just in case I missed one more. But there you go. So here's the flag and that's all about relative relative paths and absolute paths and there are some websites that actually have this vulnerability so feel free to try them out but obviously legally all right guys see ya